Yeah. Well, welcome to Truck U. Uh, today we're going to talk about this Truck 101 series. We're going to talk about its transmission components. Yeah, we got a 10 speed right in front of us right, right now. Let's do it. Yeah, we got the, first off, we got the output shaft uh, yoke, output shaft seal, mm -hmm. speed sensor. Speed sensor, uh, obviously, if a bad speed sensor goes out, your uh, speedometer won't be reading what to look for. There's a there's a male plug that plugs into here. Sometimes a pin spread, or you got bad wiring. It's any corrosion on the corrosion harness. exactly. It's wearing you know, it's not secured properly, so it's chafing around all over the place. We got the reverse switch. Same with that. Reverse switch isn't working. Your re reverse lights won't be working. Also, inspect the wiring before replacing the sensor. This is where your shifter gets uh, mounted on. You got the shift hard gasket on top. This is the top cover. Mm -hmm. This is the back half of the transmission. This is where your synchro is at. What does the synchro do? Just for so the we... high gears. This yeah. is where we get our high gears. Yeah. Uh, we got the range selector up on top. Air coming in this is for your range selector on top. Uh, front housing on the transmission, bell housing. Input shaft. And we got the clutch brake. Got the yeah crease uh crease fitting on the other side for the clutch throttle bearing. What can go wrong here? Anything that you see, like in this case, like yeah, the hose is obviously it's a rebuilt trans. We got to put in, we got to install new holes for the grease uh grease fitting. Going to the throttle bearing, if the hose breaks, obviously you're not gonna be getting any grease to that throttle bearing. Okay. Right here, the input shafts like to wear at wear out right here from the pilot bearing mm -hmm. um, splines like to wear out clutch brake wears out and then uh, yeah we got the one piece what clutch would the brake. symptoms be of a uh, clutch brake it'd yeah. be having trouble putting it into gear mm -hmm. takes a little bit longer than usual so obviously the gap between the between the throttle bearing and the clutch brake is too wide yeah. too big just adjust the clutch and that should do. On this side, we got the ports. Oh, you got your oil drain on the bottom. On this side, we got the oil fill, the tram. And this is where you can check your oil level. You can do it yourself with a half inch ratchet. And then you got your oil in and oil out for the cooler going straight to the radiator on this uh, on this uh trans okay. unless you have an external cooler for the for the transmission itself all right i think that's good right yeah sounds pretty good thank you for watching subscribe if you haven't share and we'll talk to you soon